Zabid's fortified walls and minarets have stood for more than a thousand years. But the war during the last three years has left its mark. And there's concern continued fighting between the Saudi-led coalition and Houthi rebels could damage the town's archaeological sites beyond repair. Some of the bombing around the city of Zabad and inside the city of Zabad resulted in damage of some building ceilings and wall cracks. And we, as a public body to preserve the historic cities, cannot do anything. Zabad was Yemen's capital between the 13th and 15th centuries. It sits south of today's capital, Sana'a, in an area largely controlled by Houthi rebels. It's also close to the main highway linking the port of Hadeda and the city of Taiz, a crucial supply line where there's been some of the heaviest shelling. The town's heritage was already under threat before the war began in 2014. The UN's cultural agency had placed Zabit on a danger list almost 20 years ago. More than a third of its ancient buildings had been replaced by ones made of concrete and recent bombing has only made things worse. The bombing of Shijia restaurant affected our houses. They cracked and some walls lent because of the shelling. When Zabid was Yemen's capital 700 years ago, the town's Islamic university was known as the Oxford of the East, a reference to one of the world's famous universities in the UK. Those glory days are gone, but conservationists don't want what's left of the ancient city to disappear completely. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.